Did you know that the Netherlands, a country with only 17 million inhabitants, is the second largest agricultural exporter in the world? It might leave you wondering how a country that's only about a quarter the size of the state of California manages to feed the world. The Dutch agriculture sector accounts for a significant portion of the world's food exports, with exports of agricultural products valued at over 100 billion euros annually. Welcome to the Seeker's Edge, where we seek knowledge that'll give you an edge in life. In this video, we're going to explain how the Netherlands actually feeds the world. The Netherlands, positioned as a major agricultural exporter and a key player in several key industries, has made it a crucial player in the global economy. The Dutch are their innovation, their efficiency and sustainability, making them the world's most technologically advanced food producers. How do they do it? The Netherlands' focus on agricultural technology has led to significant advancements in the industry. The country is a leader in using robots for fruit picking and automation of meat separators and potato processors. Such technologies have significantly increased efficiency and productivity in the agricultural sector. Moreover, the Netherlands is committed to intensive but sustainable farming and social responsibility. The country has embraced various measures, such as crop rotation, integrated pest management, and the use of organic fertilizers to promote sustainable agriculture. This approach ensures that the land remains fertile and the produce is of high quality. Furthermore, the Netherlands uses a great emphasis on educating the agricultural workforce. Wageningen University, located in the country, is a world-renowned agricultural research institution that has produced many successful agricultural professionals. The university conducts research in various fields, including plant breeding, animal husbandry, and food production. By educating and training its agricultural workforce, the Netherlands ensures that it has a skilled and knowledgeable workforce to sustain its agricultural industry's growth. With all the research being done at the Wageningen University, it leads to innovation and entrepreneurship. The Netherlands is home to many disruptive food companies. One area in the Netherlands is making amazing strides in the production of cell-cultured meat. This innovative technology involves growing meat in a laboratory rather than raising and slaughtering livestock. The Netherlands is home to several companies that are leading the way in this field, including Mosa Meat and Meatable. Mosa Meat produces slaughter-free hamburgers. The burger is harvested from cow cells rather than raising and slaughtering an entire animal. By growing meat naturally from cells, Meatable is similar of a company to Mosa Meat, the company aimed at cultured meat, particularly pork from cells. Another area in the Netherlands which is excelling is the vertical farming sector. This technology involves growing crops in vertically stacked layers, often indoors, using a variety of high-tech lighting, nutrient delivery, and automation systems. The Netherlands is home to several large vertical farming companies, including Philips and Brightbox, which are leading the way in developing sustainable and efficient methods of food production. Seed technology is another area in which the Netherlands is making great strides. The country is home to several leading seed companies, including Royal DSM and Enza Zeden, which are developing new varieties of crops that are more resistant to pests and diseases, require less water and fertilizer, and produce higher yields. In three generations, Enza Zeden has evolved from a family-owned seed shop into a global market leader in vegetable breeding. With more than 2,500 employees and 45 subsidiaries in 25 countries, Jaap Masiriu, Ensa Zayden's managing director, said that the company spends $100 million annually on research, introducing about 150 new vegetable varieties every year. We are very much a research company, he said. With climate change, we are seeing the weather becoming more extreme, delian varieties, seeds for organic farms, as well as varieties that are more salt tolerant for places where water quality isn't good. We need to find solutions for subsistence farmers all the way up to large-scale farmers. The company breeds seeds for all climatic zones, and for outdoor as well as indoor growing. We have our own indoor farm here where we develop the varieties of the future, crops that can go quickly and be harvested quickly, lettuce, herbs, leafy crops. The genetics can be improved, as well as the whole technology. Indoor farming will only become cheaper. It's still early days for this industry, Mazarillo said. Finally, the Netherlands is also a leader in agricultural robotics, developing advanced machinery for harvesting crops, processing meat, and performing a variety of other tasks on the farm. These machines are designed to be highly efficient and accurate, reducing the waste and increasing productivity while also reducing carbon and methane emissions. Overall, the Netherlands is committed to developing and implementing innovative solutions to meet the challenges of the 21st century by focusing on decreased water usage, reduced carbon and methane emissions, and increased efficiency and productivity, the country is leading the way in sustainable and responsible agriculture and food production. However, the Netherlands has also experienced challenges. 
Despite the Netherlands' success in agricultural exports and food technology, the country faces several challenges and controversies. One such challenge in the greenhouse industry and cheap energy. The Netherlands is a major producer of greenhouse-grown vegetables and flowers, which require a lot of energy to maintain the optimal growing conditions, which has led to concerns about the sustainability of the industry, and the government has implemented measures to promote energy efficiency and to reduce emissions. Another challenge facing the Netherlands is its intensive animal agricultural practices. The country is a major producer of dairy and meat products, and the methods to used to produce these products have been criticized for their environmental impact and animal welfare issues. The government has taken steps to address these concerns, such as promoting sustainable farming practices and reducing the use of antibiotics in livestock. One controversy in particular has been the Conservative government's coalition pledge to ha have nitrogen emissions by 2030. This pledge has led to protests from farmers and ranchers who argue that the measures being proposed would have negative impacts on their businesses. The protests have sparked a wider debate about the balance between economic growth and environmental sustainability in the Netherlands. Despite these challenges and controversies, the Netherlands continues to be a leader in agriculture and food technology. The country's focus on sustainable farming practices and innovation in areas such as cell-cultured meat and vertical farming demonstrate its commitment to addressing these issues and maintaining its position as a global agricultural powerhouse. This global position is only further strengthened by their geographical position and logistical infrastructure. The Netherlands boasts an excellent infrastructure and is known as a logistics hub due to its central location in Europe and its highly developed transportation networks. The country's position as a major exporter is also central to its economy, accounting for a significant portion of its gross domestic product. The most important factor contributing to this is the port of Rotterdam. The port of Rotterdam is by far the largest deep water port in Europe and it also ranks among the top 10 worldwide. One of the reasons is Certainly its location in the delta of the Rhine and Meuse rivers, and thus directly on the North Sea. The port of Rotterdam is a global hub for international trade, and it allows the Netherlands to be one of the largest food exporters in the world. It allows the Netherlands to export swiftly to countries like the United States, United Kingdom, and China. However, most of its food is exported to European countries, such as Germany, accounting for 24% of Dutch agricultural exports in 2022, as well as Spain, Italy, and Belgium. In 2022, the Netherlands exported 122.3 billion euros worth of agricultural goods. That is 17% more than in 2021. It's expected to increase, and we'll see the Netherlands become the world's absolute largest food exporter. In conclusion, the Netherlands' focus on agricultural technology, its commitment to sustainable farming and innovation, have helped the country become the frontrunners of food technology. Moreover, the country's status as a logistics hub, its amazing infrastructure, and its position as a major exporter of agriculture and processed food products have made it a critical player in the global economy. It's a little dinky little country, but a massive player. So again, the Netherlands' focus on agricultural technology, commitment to sustainable farming, innovation, they've all helped them immensely become, yeah, notable, doing the right thing. It's amazing to see, and I hope it's amazing to hear about. But I must mention again, despite these successes, the Netherlands faces challenges and controversies, including the greenhouse industry's reliance on cheap energy and intensive animal agricultural practices. The Conservative government's coalition's pledge to have nitrogen emissions by 2030 has resulted in, again, protests from farmers and ranchers. However, the country's preoccupation with food production and commitment to sustainable agriculture positions the Netherlands as a vital player in the global agri-food industry. Haha, <laughs> found another way to phrase it, but all that being said, it's, it's clear that the world depends on the Netherlands for their food. And that's it for today. So, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to The Seeker's Edge, and if you didn't enjoy the video, I'm gonna shove my whole foot in my mouth, man, that makes me sad. Anyways, see you later!